Hi, I'm going to show you my experience of making a rowing boat with animated and kind of working oars on Roblox. Um, first we have the simplest rowing boat with no oars, we control in the vehicle seat. Um, we have hinged oars and then we have more realistic ball and socket constrained oars that can move in more directions. Um, finally we have even more realistic oars that will attach the handles to the hands of the character and move with the character. This first boat has no oars, um, but we can control it by using a vector force and a torque um, around the center of the boat uh, through using the vehicle seat. And we can see we can move it forwards and backwards, rotate it pretty easily. So it's good for basic boats, so like a you know, a motorboat type thing. But uh, I'm a bit more ambitious than that. So anyway, let's see it. Okay, let's see the boat in the Explorer. So firstly, we have a vehicle seat, uh, that black part there. And then we're gonna connect various um, attachment points and things underneath that. So we have the center attachment point, the forces will operate around that. Um, we have a vector force, which is the forward vector, um, that will push the boat in the direction it's pointing um, or backwards. And we have a torque vector which will rotate the boat horizontally um, around that, um, around its centre. Um, and then we have an align orientation which tries to keep the boat uh, pointing upright. Uh, and the aligner orientation will orientate the, the boat um, to point in the same direction as some part um, separate from the boat. Um, so we will attach that to that, uh, the attachment point called part up that's underneath the, the base part. Um, you can see that large green arrow, that is the uh, up direction we're trying to line the boat in. Okay, there it is, part up. So the center on the boat will be constrained to um, line with part up, um, just making the boat more stable. Um, See that the um, align orientation has a maximum amount of torque we can apply um, to make it physically realistic. Um, so if there's something in the way, it will it will you know stop trying to turn in that direction. It also has um, maximum angular velocity of movement. Finally, there's the responsiveness, which I think is. Uh, the number of times a second um, the forces get updated uh, because the Roblox um, physics update is 200 frames a second. Okay, so let's look at the script. And the script is inside the vehicle seat, so we can look at script.parent to get to the vehicle seat. Uh, and when there's a character sitting in the seat, we can ask for the variables throttle and steer, and they will be plus or minus one or real values within those ranges. And then we can use those to uh, move the boat with the forces we set up earlier on. Um, so torque is controlled by the steering and the forward vector is controlled by the throttle uh, and I've played around with some multipliers there to um, give us the you know, roughly the right amount of effect.
Also note the use of the XYZ components for both the torque vector and the forward vector to get the forces working in the correct directions. OK, so now we've got a boat with hinges. Um, the hinges have the advantage that they can be uh, what's called servo actuated, which means we can set um, an angle that we want the hinge to move to. Um, and then we can move the oars to any position we want by this angle. Um, <coughs> You'll see in the script I set the target angle based on a sine wave over time to make the motion smooth. The problem you'll see is that the oars are, the hinges are vertical, uh, and with one hinge we can only move the oars forwards and backwards, and we can't really move them up or down. Um, but it's pretty encouraging, they move very nicely. Um, maybe we can combine a vertical and horizontal hinge to give us the movement we want. Uh, maybe. Okay, so the hinge attaches two attachment points together uh, and the hinge also has an axis that it rotates in. Um, you can see that in the sort of vertical brown cylinder now showing as orange. Uh, that cylinder is the axis that the hinge rotates in. So you can rotate it like a normal model. Um, <coughs> and there's an attachment attached to the oar and a separate one attached to the boat. Um, and you can see that in the uh, hierarchy in OR R we have OR attach R and in the boat we have boat attach R and those are both uh, linked together um, by the hinge uh, obviously hinge R and hinge L for the other side okay so here's the script um, the first thing we have a um, on mouse click um, function connected to the uh, click detector so we can click on the seat and uh, make the animation start and the basic thing is that we're setting the target angle for the two hinges and uh, we do this based on a cosine and makes it smoothly oscillate backwards and forwards um, with t as the variable that we increment um, when we want the the, haw the oars to move or the animation to start and we go up to a maximum of 60 degrees forwards and backwards in this next design we use a ball and socket joint uh, where the oars would attach to the boat uh, at what's called the gunnels I think um, so this allows the oars to move in two rotations, um, up and down and forwards and backwards. Um, but the problem is we don't have the servo option for the ball and socket joint. Um, so we need to actually move the oars um, with another mechanism. Uh, let's see them go. Well, they move pretty nicely. And um, the amazing thing is we're not sitting in the seat um, yet. The Roblox physical constraints is actually making the oars propel the boat forwards, uh, which I'm very impressed by. Um, So, um, how do we do it? Um, we've got an attachment at the end of the oar pointing the direction we want the oar to point in. And then we have a target angle. Um, you can just see on the side of the boat. And then we will point the oar 
at that direction, or in the same direction, not point at it, um, using an align orientation constraint. Um, this means that rather than pointing at there directly, if the ore hits anything, um, it will experience resistance and it won't just go straight through objects, it will collide with them, so it will look much more realistic. So we make the oars go in the direction we want by following an ellipse in 3D space, um, shown in green there. And this means we can control how far the oars go forwards and backwards, and how far they go up and down, and um, control how fast they rotate through that action. Okay, here's the script. So we set the axis, which is the uh, direction we want the rules to point in, for the right or and the left or um, at the bottom there, um, with an angle specified by hang one, um, based on t times the row speed, and we control the target height, that's the amount the oars move up and down, um, and the width, the amount they move forwards and backwards, and we have an offset because we want the oars to be generally lower than the boat and go under the water. Also we have the target dist, which is like the offset to the side of the boat. Um, so that the target isn't just rotating in a circle um, up and down and through the boat, it's, it's off to the side. Finally, we have oars with realistic constraints. So, I mean, I tried this quite early on. I wanted the character to animate, and the obvious thing is to just um, position the handles of the oars where the character's hands are. Um, then all you have to do is animate the character and the oars move with the character. Um, so this is not much different to the ball and socket oars. Um, we are just setting the aligned position of the handle to the character's hands rather than using an aligned orientation. Um, you can see it working, it looks pretty good, but the boat looks rather out of control um, and it seems to suffer from lots of torque um, in different directions and I've spent quite a lot of trying, trying to fix that but um, you know I haven't managed it so it's pretty disappointing. Um, please take the um, project and try and modify it and get it working um, and don't try jumping out your seat either. <laughs> um, I do have code that does that but it's, um, it's a little bit um, tricky to detach from the boat as well. Uh, this is an attempt to show you um, how the parts in the project diagram match up to the parts on the model and the different constraints. Um, and you can also see in the script um, the align position attachment of the oar is um, set to the hand um, for both hands. Finally, I hope you found that um, useful. I've still a lot to learn, but um, hopefully you learned something from that video. Bye.